Hi, I'm Jennifer Gallman with CHA Today. I'm standing in front of the Mint Museum where over 200 housing advocates came together to discuss what's next for affordable housing in Charlotte. It had been four years since the last major affordable housing conference in the Charlotte area at a time when the economy was booming. Now, in 2011, the economic climate has changed. This year's conference focused on the current local affordable housing needs, the lessons learned, and the development of new strategies that will guide affordable housing initiatives for the next several years. To kick off the conference, Dr. James Johnson, Jr., a distinguished professor of strategy and entrepreneurship and director of the Urban Investment Strategy Center at UNC Chapel Hill, discussed the causes and consequences of the growing inequality in American society. He then presented research to the group about the emerging demographic trends for the country, the state of North Carolina, and areas in and around Mecklenburg County. Two highlighted pieces of data presented were the 76 million plus baby boomers in America that begin entering the senior population in 2011 and the increase in the younger Latino population in the community. Uh, we need to reach out more with the Latino community uh, and we need to maybe think about how we provide uh, our housing products differently. Panelists from the community talk candidly about the different types of financing available to develop affordable housing in the community. What was clear about all the financing options presented at the conference, whether it be federal monies, local monies, or state tax credits, was that funding was limited and needed to be spent wisely. We, we don't have enough funding to support all of the need. So we have to be really smart and intentional about where we're going to spend that money so we can get the best return for it. A key to spending the money wisely is working together to leverage the dollars available through programs offered by the federal, state, and local governments. Scott Farmer from the North Carolina Housing Finance Agency told us what it would take to get successful affordable housing done through this program. With a lot of communication uh, from top to bottom, we can make it work as best we can and get as, as good results as we can out of the program. As communication increases and affordable housing communities are being developed, community partners are working together to compile data from these programs. By analyzing this information, the agencies involved can more effectively formulate the next steps for the long-term affordable housing needs in the Charlotte community. We can go back out to the community next year and say, we identified a need through real data, uh, we addressed that need, and we'd like to look to do more next year, and here's our track record. A positive step taken by the city and county is the development of the Affordable Housing Coalition. The coalition is comprised of talented people in the community who have a background in development, housing, finance, and neighborhood activism. The mission of the group is to better understand the issues that drive the need for affordable housing and to look very holistically at projects. The approach is turnkey and will not only look at the capital side of a development, but also the supportive services component needed for the tenant to effectively address the long-term operating needs of the community. We spoke with Charles Woodyard about what are some of the major issues impacting the development of affordable housing in Charlotte. Affordability of land in higher priced areas. Um, we've got to address the perception issues with affordable housing, the not in my backyard NIMBY issues. We need to do that with education uh, because people need to understand that the families who uh, would live uh, in their communities uh, are, are working families usually with some of the same issues and values as the rest of the community. Coming together as a community, like many have done at the Affordable Housing Conference, put together by the Urban Land Institute, and working together will produce the best housing opportunities for the Charlotte community. No one agency can do it alone. So it takes the city, it takes the county, it takes um, the faith community. It, it's, it's, it takes all of us to work together to, to provide the kind of housing that is needed for our, our neighbors here in Charlotte. With over 11,000 families homeless in the county and over 4,500 school-aged children without a roof over their heads at night, the need for affordable housing is definitely a top concern for Charlotteans, and addressing the need was on the forefront of everyone's mind at the Urban Land Institute's housing forum. A key takeaway is that our system to produce new affordable housing is primarily limited not by the human need in our community or the talent of the developers and builders and operators and designers, but it's limited by the available capital to produce that housing, which is in very short supply. 
Working together to address the affordable housing needs and leveraging the funding available to the community is definitely a priority for community leaders who are committed to communicating and working together to build affordable housing the right way to positively impact the community. Well, one thing is clear from the results of this conference, affordable housing is definitely needed for Charlotte's long-term economic growth. Reporting from the Mint Museum, I'm Jennifer Gallman with CHA Today.